Hello guys, welcome to the finale of my Borderlands 2 Let's Play. In the last episode, we managed to make our way to the Vault of the Warrior, and this episode now, we're now finally going to take on Handsome Jack. Handsome Jack's downfall is finally going to occur today. You're a plague, bandit. You and your kind have corrupted Pandora with your greed and your hatred. It comes down to me to save this world from your kind. But I'm more than happy to do it. So we're going to battle Handsome Jack and the Warrior down there. It looks a bit, a bit like an arena, but with this is where Handsome Jack's going to activate the key and he's going to awaken the Warrior. When we head down there, we're going to have a boss battle with Handsome Jack and the creature called the Warrior. This is actually a very fun boss battle coming up. I would say it's probably my favourite boss battle in Borderlands. Probably one of my favourite boss battles in gaming history, in my opinion. The amount of times Handsome Jack mocks you throughout the game and it now finally comes down to this. Taking part in this boss battle, finally beating him, really was a fantastic feeling. Yeah, this is actually a very solid boss battle though, I really do like this one. Easy one of my favourite boss battles in video games. Probably my second favourite in gaming, behind the Dr. Nefarious boss fight in Ratchet & Clank 3. Yeah, this boss battle is a very good one, I do like it. So when you first started playing this game, you knew this time was finally coming. When the amount of times Handsome Jack would mock you throughout the game and... The amount of times you'll get cocking at you and yeah it finally comes down to this finally giving hazard jack a taste of his own medicine hazard jack won't be easy to take out but we can take him out if we could take out the warrior then that will shut handsome jack up for good okay so i'll make sure i've got plenty i want to make sure i'm fully loaded with ammo before we go take on hazard jack i'll make sure i've got every single all my ammo fully loaded I just want to sell some of this stuff. I'll keep that shield because I want to equip that when I get to level 31. Okay. Let's go finally meet Handsome Jack. It's finally time to put an end to this. This is where it all ends. Once Lilith here charges the key, I'll control the warrior and wipe you bandits off my planet. When you get to hell, tell your vault hunter friends I said hey. All right, Jack, let's do this, me and you. Hey, you're right on time. Key's nearly ready. But before I cleanse this planet for good, I'm going to avenge my daughter. Bring it on, Jack. You've had this coming a long time. I think Lilith's definitely very pleased to see us. Right, let's take out I know which one's the real hazard, Jack, so I'm going to keep shooting at him and take him out. He's got some invincibility cloak map, but we can take him. I've got my turret here to scout him out for me. Yeah, player's action is actually really ideal for this. Playing as a commando, in my opinion, is really ideal for this, because obviously with his saber turret, you can use it to scout out hazard, Jack, when he cloaks away from you. Alright, come on, I need to keep shooting at him. Come on. Come on, Jack. This ends now. I've got plenty of out, so I'm going to try and finish Handsome Jack off as I'm in fight for my life, if I can. Tell you what. There we go. That it? Huh? No! The key's charged! I'm not dying yet. <laughs> You're too late, bandit. I win. <laughs> the greatest alien power Pandora has ever seen. <laughs> and it's my to control. This isn't good. Well, I'm gonna pick all this up, then I'll be ready to take on the warrior. The warrior can be quite a, can be quite a dangerous enemy, but well, I need to get to high ground quickly for the rather light rises. So the only lava that's gonna rise is in between this platform and the platform over there. 
So where there's a bit lower ground, that's the, that's the only part where the lava's going to rise. Right, I'm just gonna shoot. All we got to do is shoot him and just chip away his health. Obviously, he has a lot of health, as you'd expect. Just keep shooting him, and over time, he will he will end up lo losing a lot of health, and yeah, then you can finally kill him. Actually, I've not got plenty of ammo for this. I'm definitely going to need to wander around here a bit and definitely get myself plenty of ammo. You can call these here and they can give you ammo for all your, for weapons that see when you get low on ammo. Definitely need this. Oh, he's not giving me the right ammo. Oh, you are kidding. Alright, it don't matter. Still got plenty of ammo in there too. I might switch weapon in a minute. I'm not going to get the RPG out for this. I'm going to save the RPG when I get in the fight for my life, so I'm going to use this weapon on him, I think. Yeah, this will do. Yeah, I can see he's shooting away his health very slowly, but gradually, if you keep shooting him, he probably has some critical spots around him somewhere. I can't remember exactly where his critical spots were, to be honest, if he had any, but just keep shooting at him and eventually he will die. There probably are some better strategies to take out the warrior, but yeah. Okay, so I just want to make sure I can get a good shot to warrior, and I think he's going to attack me here, isn't he? Yeah, I'm going to move away for a second. Hey, this boss battle can be a very challenging one. I'm pretty sure there are some people out there better at fighting me and found some good strategies to take on the warrior over the years. This is pretty much a strategy I've stuck for throughout the years, and yeah, it just, it just worked for me every time, really. That was close. Right, can I get... Okay, I've got medical syringe, which I don't actually need in me. I, didn't re I thought I was quite low on health there for a second. Right, I'm going to get the turret out. Do your thing, turret. I think my turret can help me take out some of these enemies around here as well. Yeah, okay, I'm in five more life. I wanted to get my five health thanks because that volcanic chrysalic is very low on health. There we go. Well, I'm going to head back over here again. Okay, I'll see he's got about 15% of his health chipped away as of now. Well, I'm trying to keep my distance from this guy at all times. Well, go guns blazing with this, but yeah, I don't want to rush things too much. Don't want to get too close to him because he can some of his close range attacks can do a lot of damage. I'll take out this Chris Sack. I do not want him coming toward me. There we go. Lava's rising, but it's not going to get me from there. When the lava rises, it's not really much of a threat. As long as you're, in a, long as you're over there in the centre, all the way in the distance over there, along standing here, you're going to be fine. The, the rising lava will not do any damage to you whatsoever. Okay, that's another Chrysalic take it out. So I want to take out... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit closer and get my turret out on... Yeah, get my turret out. Oh, my turret went in a good place. I don't know where my turret went, actually. But, oh well. It can take some enemies out. I don't care what it takes out. I don't care if it attacks Crystallics, where it takes out the warrior, as long as it attacks something. Okay, the warrior's disappeared. He'll appear in a minute. There you are. That's his tail. Oh, he's gonna. Ho ho ho. I'm gonna head back over here again. Every time I play this game, this has always been my favourite spot to hide from the. Well, not to hide from Warrior, but to keep my distance away from him. Okay, where is the Warrior now? Right, here he is. The slime is doing quite a nice amount of damage in match, but I just hope. So I'm just going to take out this crystallic. Just make things a lot easier. There we go. Okay, so I've nearly got half his health chipped away. So I'm just going to get turret out here. Do your thing, turret. I'll take out this crystallic, so. Once the crystallic's taken out, hopefully my sentry will start attacking. 
the warrior and it's just attacking the other crystallics. All right, whatever. Well, at least it's keeping the other crystallics away from me for a little while. Okay, I've nearly got half his health chipped away. Okay, he's disappeared now. Loads of lava crystallics in this area. I might see how much damage a rocket launch can do, but I might save the rocket launch ammo for a little bit later. What the hell? Bloody hell, I went flying. Oh. Okay, the rocket launcher does a good amount of damage, but it doesn't do lots of damage. Obviously, the warrior is. That's just, this just shows how powerful the warrior is. I swear, if we could take us out, Axe and the commander will be the biggest badass on Pandora. Right, I'm not going to rocket launch on this guy. I should get a sniper back out on him. The sniper's doing a lot of damage to the Crystallics. I'm impressed. Right, I should go get some more ammo. I want more ammo. There he is now. Uh, let's get the turret here. Oh, no. Put a Titan on. Well, I was going to get a turret on top of there, but that didn't quite go to plan. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, when the turret's ready to shot, I'm going to put the turret up here. Come on, turret. When are you ready? Here we go. Let's do this. Well, my sentry is firing at something else other than the warrior. I want you to fire at the warrior sentry. It's firing at a crystallic, isn't it? Oh, what? okay, now it's firing at the warrior, I think. Just throw a grenade at that crystallic. So far, this has gone pretty well so far. Yeah, I've chipped away over half his health now. This can be quite a chaotic boss battle. You know, it's not the hardest boss battle you can ever play in a video game. There are definitely harder boss battles in the Borderlands games. There are some boss battles you can unlock in throughout Borderlands 2, some side ones that will definitely require you. Well, they'll definitely help if you had other players doing them for you. Well, that thing will be quite difficult to do. I think that would definitely be difficult to do a solo. So I think with some boss battles you can unlock later in the game for side mission wise, I think some of them will be definitely be a lot easier to do like with other people. Luckily, this boss battle is definitely beatable on solo. Definitely. I mean, it would be a bit stupid if this game was only if this boss boss only beatable with other players. Otherwise, you're going to need to find yourself some friends in no time if you don't have any. Okay, I'm just hoping it's going to attack the warrior, but it's not going to, is it? The warrior had to move, didn't it? Okay, now it's tough. Uh, oh, it's attacking that crystallic. Fuck's sake. Well, I'll get rid of that crystallic, then hopefully he'll start firing at the warrior. Okay, so the warrior's nearly lost 75% of his health now, so we're definitely doing damage to it. Yeah, Hazard Jack is... I think Hazard Jack is shitting himself now. I'm already on high ground. Right, can we get some more ammo quickly? Has I got the chance to? There we go. Alright, I've got one more rock launcher, so I think I'm going to use it on... Yeah, I'll just use it on the warrior. There we go, do some damage. There we go. Is it taking? I'm going to get close to the warrior now and get some more shot. I'm out completely out of rocket launcher ammo now, so I think I'm near quite near very low on sniper ammo now as well. I'm just going to just chip away. I'll go chuck some grenades, actually. Right, get the sentry out as well. I want the sentry to fire at the warrior. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. Almost went in the lava. Oh, that was pretty close. That was close. I know. Go. 
Okay, war is very low on health now, which is great. Just how I want things. So I'm going to head back over here, I think. Get the sniper out now. Okay, I've got quite a lot of sniper ammo, so... I, I think you'll probably take more sniper ammo than what I've got to finish him off, but... Whoa! Oh, ho, 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 that was close. Ha, oh, oh, ha, oh, ha, that was close. Okay, where's... Okay, there he is. Get some good shots on him. Okay, they've got three shots left, but we'll be alright. Fuck, a quick call from ammo though when I've got the chance to. Got more sniper ammo. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Hmm, that crusade got taken out by the looks of it. Okay, so, okay, there he is. Why don't you go get some more shots on him? Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get close so I can to him and deploy the sentry. Do your thing, sentry. But please fire at the warrior this time. There we go. There we got him. The warrior's down. Oh, he's not so cocky now. Holy I think you killed it. Never hurts to make sure, though. Hit the button on the moonshot console. Alright, I'll make sure the warrior's dead. This will seal the warrior's fate. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Who's the badass now? Look at all this stuff. Can't I like this? Not when I'm so close. And not at the hands. Of a filthy bandit! See, I could have saved this planet. See, I, I could have actually restored order. And I wasn't supposed to die by the hands of a child killing psychopath! See, you're a savage. You're a maniac! You are a bandit! And I am the goddamn hero! So mad, Jack, you don't look so good. I was practically a god. How? How in the hell have you killed my warrior? You idiots. The warrior could have brought peace to this planet. No more dangerous creatures, no more bandits. Pandora, it could have been paradise! Shut up, bitch! This is the end, Vault Hunter. Either you kill Jack, or I'll kill him for you. What's it gonna be? Nah, I've been wanting this moment for a long time. Die! It's over. It's finally over. Good going, Vault Hunter. You are a badass. Thank you, Lilith. Ah, just gotta get rid of that key. If I die, I'm just going to pick up some more weapons around here, get myself so much iridium. Look how much iridium I've got now. Was there any more iridium around here? Yes, there is. Well, I'll pick up some more iridium before we end this. I want all the iridium I can gather. I think that's most of the iridium collected. Ah, still more over here. I'm going to definitely do plenty of upgrading before we end this episode off. So that is pretty much the story of Borderlands 2 complete. Handsome Jack is dead and down for the count. This is not where the whole Let's Play is going to end though, so I am going to play through the DLC packs as well. For the main Borderlands 2 storyline, this is where things are going to end. Wait a sec, let me. You don't want to touch this thing right now, trust me. Slow down, man. I nearly bought it back there. Hey, Lilith! Where the hell were you guys five minutes ago? If it weren't for the Vault Hunter, we'd all be dead. I think that's our way of saying we won. Hey, I figured that. If I never see this key again, it'll be too soon. It's been fun, you alien piece of shit. Huh? What the? Those vaults? <laughs> you know what that means. Yeah. 
<laughs> no rest for the wicked. So that, everyone, is the main storyline of Borderlands 2. Yeah, I'm a bit sad the main storyline of Borderlands 2 has come to an end because I love this game so much. But this is not where the Borderlands 2 Let's Play is going to end. We are going to be playing for the DLC packs of Borderlands 2 as well. Captain Scarlet and her Pirate's Booty, Mr. Tor's Campaign of Carnage, Sir Hamelot's Game Hunt, Tiny Tina's Adventure on Dragon Keep, and Kamali of the Fight Sanctuary. We're going to play on all those DLC packs as well. Because Borderlands 2 is one of my favourite video games of all time, I thought I don't want to let's play to end here. I want to carry on playing this game and complete some of the DLC packs as well. Since I've got the Hazard Collection version, which automatically comes with the DLC packs, I thought, yeah, why not play through them as well? Let's skip the credits and let's get back into the game. New playthrough mode unlocked. Congratulations, you've unlocked True Fall Hunter mode. True Fall Hunter mode is where the real game begins. You'll fight new, tougher enemies, earn better loot, and gain even more levels. You can change your playthrough mode from the main menu. No, thank you. I am going to head back to Sanctuary. Because that's where we need to go now to end the main Let's Play of Borderlands 2 off. I need to find a fast travel station. Where's this go? I really am such an idiot. Okay. At least I didn't die during that boss battle. Okay, let's go back to Sanctuary. Okay, so... Oh, we got some side missions we can activate around here. But I'm not going to bother activating any side missions because we're pretty much done. We've, I've upgraded my character enough to complete all the stuff for the DLC pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear upgrade my Iridium before we begin the DLC packs. Uh, what should I go for? We'll definitely get plenty of Iridium when we play through when we play through the DLC packs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly spend my skill points before we end things off. Might have a quick loadout change as well. Yep, yeah, we'll definitely go for that. Uh hmm. If I'll keep the car rifle I've got, I think. Uh shock sniper. Uh is this a more powerful pistol? Nope, doesn't look like it. On the one hand. Well, to maybe get get some different weapons before we head into next DLC. Okay, yes, we've got a new rocket launcher now. What else we got? I'll definitely just sell some of this stuff before we. Oh, a new shield, perfect. Definitely want to equip that. I think I found another shield, didn't I? Okay, I've got the best shield, I think. I'm going to quickly head to Marcus. I'm going to quickly sell most of the stuff. I Actually, no, I'm going to quickly sell the stuff I don't want. And yeah, we'll end the episode off. And we'll begin the DLC packs in the next episode. So the main storyline, Borderlands 2, is now complete. So now we can finally focus our attention on the DLC packs. Okay, I'm going to have a lot of money after selling all that stuff. Okay. So to start the DLC packs, what we do is we're going to head down here and we are going to head to Pirate's Booty. So the first DLC pack we're going to do is Pirate's Booty Oasis. Okay guys, we're going to end the main Borderlands 2 Let's Play here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my Borderlands 2 Let's Play, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to keep updated with the Borderlands 2 episodes that to my channel. And for the next Borderlands 2 Let's Play, we're going to be playing on Captain Scarlet and a Pirate's Booty, beginning with the small town of Oasis. I hope to see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my main Borderlands 2 Let's Play. I hope to see you guys in Captain Scarlet and her Pirate's Booty. This is Goldie X and I'm out.